Hello, so here we are with a video of the Motorola Fire. Now before I go any further, this is a pre-production unit and at time of recording this video we weren't allowed to actually publish it. So anything you see here by the time it's published may have changed and on the final uh, spec unit that gets released into retail and for purchase by yourself may be slightly different but the fundamentals should be very similar. So the Motorola Fire is sort of a mid-range slash entry-level Android device with a front-facing QWERTY keyboard. We've got a 2.8 inch touchscreen display. So it's Google Android on here, so there's a lot of customization and uh, what have you available and you get the uh, usual Google Android experience. You've got uh, a Moto Blur or Moto Switch UI uh, integrated in it as well for added customization. Um, Android 2.3, so you've got a, a lot of the latest functionality um, on board, which is quite good. This one's actually running Android 2.2.2, but it will come to market with Android 2.3. We've got a micro SD card slot on here. Uh, we've got quad band GSM and then uh, 2100 900 MHz for 3G. We've got Bluetooth, we've got Wi Fi, we've got micro USB connectivity, you've got this four row QWERTY keyboard, all your Google services such as Google Maps. You've got a three megapixel camera on the back here. Uh, no flash so that's one of the downsides of this device it's got a 1420 milliamp hour battery and weighs in at approximately 110 grams so this isn't aimed at the prosumer or the business user this is aimed at those who really want a capable smartphone with the benefit of a touch screen and a keyboard um, but aren't necessarily too fussed um, about having the very latest and greatest in terms of specifications but just something that will perform well on a daily basis. So a quick tour around the device, so we've got this touch screen on the front here, got a speaker grill, the Motorola branding, got touch sensitive navigation buttons including a menu, home, back and search key. We've got this four row QWERTY keyboard uh, you've got numerics on here which can be accessed using things such as the alt key. They are raised, um, which is quite good. The keys are quite small but usable. Um, remind me of some of the smaller BlackBerry uh, devices. Um, not quite as good as like the, the likes of the BlackBerry uh, Bold 9900 or the 9700 even, but not bad uh, for most people. So on this side we've got a micro USB port for charging and data connectivity to computer. On the base there's nothing, it's flash. On the side we've got a camera button, we've got a volume rocker, and we've actually got this sort of silver decal running up the uh, side as well. To the top we've then got the power button and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the back we've got this 3 megapixel camera, we've got Motorola branding and we've got it's a glossy finish uh, on here at the moment. So let's just see if we can get this back cover off. Okay. So we've got a BP6X battery and that comes in at 1420 milliamp hours and we've got a micro SD card and SIM card slot underneath there. So all the things that you'd really expect on a Google Android smartphone. So I don't really need to explain the operating system. Android fairly self-explanatory, all the usual applications and what have you. Just go into the browser there. We're not connected up at the moment, but uh, you do get the landscape orientation. Doesn't work that way around. And then again, you've got that here twisting as you go. 
So all the applications you see on here may actually uh, change by the time it comes to market. Uh, but that's just a very quick rundown of the Motorola Fire.